Hello. I tried to make this a reel. I really did. Um, I just, it was not long enough. Even 90 seconds is not long enough to share information, at least for me. Um, but I purchased a bundle of courses today. And generally when I purchase them, they're like $37 and you get like a whole bunch. It's outdated content that these, you know, educators have had lying around for a really long time. And so there might be like a few nuggets of information. Uh, but, you know, it's usually like one or two from the whole bundle. Uh, I, I have to share this with you guys. This is from 2017. So it's from a while ago. This guy named Tom Poland, he has a uh, a book out there called Leadology or something. And it was just his slide deck from a presentation he had done. Uh, and I really didn't expect there to be like much in there, but there was, it was one slide and it changed everything. So I'm gonna share it with you today. Um, if you've ever heard me say or refer to the term amplifiers, I use that term to communicate the type of person who will refer you because one, I think, I think we should all be focusing more on building a network of amplifiers so that they do the work of selling for you. Um, but also because you can, you know, spend the same amount of time to get one amplifier who then will share you and your contact information with like 50 other people versus actually going out and connecting with 50 people, right? So if you, if you hung around my programs, you oftentimes will hear me uh, talk about amplifiers and the importance of it um, and how to curate and nurture them, where to find them, that sort of thing. And I've always talked about the importance of no like, and trust in creating relationships with those amplifiers. The framework that Tom Poland shared is actually a seven step ascension ladder. And it, there's three steps after no like, and trust and one before that I just adore. So the first one in his ascension ladder of he doesn't use the term uh, amplifiers. I'm using that. Um, he, he uses it for uh, referrals, which makes the same thing. People who are going to refer you, right? So the first step for him is know of you. Makes total sense, right? Someone is going to potentially know of you before they meet you, right? I've, I had this happen a lot with Barbara Magnolia where it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard of, I've heard of you guys. Like, I, I know of you, right? But they hadn't known me. So the second step is to know you right? So someone can hear of you, but then they can meet you, right? When you're networking, you're doing all that in-person stuff or you're doing the cold outreach, right? Where you send an email to a new venue and they're like, oh yeah, someone had like mentioned something about you not too long ago, right? No of you, know you. The third step is to like you, right? So uh, no like, and trust. So the second of the two or the, the so far the three is to like you which I had never really thought about like them I always saw like no like and trust is kind of like equal but it makes total sense that someone can know you but then they have to like you right no and then like you and then they have to trust you because you can like people but still be like I don't know that I trust them and so trust is actually the third actually the fourth step in the ascension ladder but it is the third in the no like and trust right so you, someone can know you then they like you and then they, they you build trust with them and they trust you so the fifth step which i just had never even like considered is uh to turn them into a passive referrer right so a passive referrer is someone who if asked will be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I, I know this mobile bar company or I know this person that can help you with that, right? They're a passive referrer. So maybe even other mobile bar companies may be passive referrers. So they only refer you when they're being asked for something, maybe they're booked that date and they're like, you know, hey, do you know of anyone else? And they're like, oh yeah, I do know of somebody else, right? So you can, they will know you, like you, trust you and become a passive referrer. The step after that is to become a proactive referrer, meaning that they're out there offering your details unsolicited unsolicited. So perhaps when someone, uh, you know, emails them or a photographer or a caterer and be like, Hey, thanks for booking our services. Here's a list of other vendors that we love working with, right? They didn't ask for that. They're, they're just proactively providing that. And so like getting on someone's list like that, where they're proactively referring uh, you, then you're one step further on the ascension ladder of the, you know, that amplifier and the final ladder, the final rung on this ladder of the ascension ladder is a, uh, 
proactive or a process refer, sorry, pro- process refer. And so a process of refer systemizes referrals and sometimes even like requires them, right? So this would be getting in with a venue wherein like you're it, you are the exclusive person or you get in with an event planner who they only use you or, you know, a caterer who's like, when we can't staff it, you're our, you know, our our go-to. And I just, I just love, one, I love structure. I love structure to anything, but I love the, the, pathway here so that you could actually look at all of your amplifiers and not just say like, hey, I've got amplifiers, but to, to look at them and assess like, okay, but what kind of amplifier are they? Are they just like a passive refer where they'll refer me when asked? Are they a proactive refer where they actually, you know, will go out of their way? And then there's a, you know, the process refer who it's like, it's automatic, right? And and then you can turn around and build and nurture those relationships accordingly. So if you know someone is a passive refer, how do you turn them into a proactive one or a process refer, if possible, right? Or if they're a process refer, how do you nurture that relationship? So because they're 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 a much more important business wise, a much more impactful um, amplifier if they're a process refer than they are a, pro, uh, a passive refer. Anyways, I love this. Let me know if you love this, what, like, what thoughts go through your head, like opportunities that you have as a business owner that you can utilize this in your business. Um, and if you'd like when I share kind of random tidbits uh, like this, because I, I enjoy sharing them. So anyways, that's what I have for you today. Have an awesome evening.